Hey, it's Peter Buke, your author of the best-selling book, Six Months to Six Figures, and founder of the prestigious Game Changers Academy. Now, I'm not big on watching the news, but when I see an opportunity to possibly share some wisdom or to help someone's perspective and grow, then I'm going to share. So the recent news that just happened was Leangelo Ball, who's one of the Ball brothers, one of the uh, most famous families out right now, brilliant marketers. There's the uh, LeVar Ball, the CEO of Big Baller Brand. There's Lonzo Ball, who just got drafted to the Lakers. Then there's LaMelo Ball, who uh, is arguably the most famous. He just turned 16 years old, and he uh, has 2.3 million Instagram followers. But the middle brother, Leangelo, got in some drama of his own and just got caught shoplifting in China he plays for UCLA and just got in trouble um, with two of his teammates for possibly, um, all the details aren't out yet, but for stealing Louis Vuitton um, at obviously at the hotel um, shop right next to where he was staying at. Now, same day, Meek Mill, who is a rapper, and by the way, these are just examples, but I, I had to say something because both these people, and Meek Mill just broke his probation for the second or third time. He's possibly going to jail for two to four years. Leangelo faces jail time two or three to 10 years because one of the strictest places in the world for shoplifting and, and for that type of uh, um, crime is China. So same day, two people who have such a bright future and it's irrelevant who they are, it's more important the lesson you can learn and what can happen if you really don't think things through. So here's Leangelo Ball, 18 years old, gonna be a star at UCLA, ready to have an amazing future. Makes one simple but dumb decision and doesn't fully think, think something through. Now not only is he embarrassing his family, and I respect the family because what they've done, and I love how LeVar, LeVar Ball handles all the criticism and everything else. So I have respect for the family, but it's unfortunate that at a young age, you have to experience something like this when your family's famous and you get all this backlash. It's tough to handle at 18. Um, but the purpose of this video is to share my perspective on what you can learn from this situation because you always wanna take positive and negative and try and learn because you can learn from everything. Kobe Bryant said you can learn from everything. He was watching a high school game and was learning from a high school or All-American uh, when he was actually on the Lakers. So he was already a pro, but he was learning from someone that had a move that he wanted, didn't matter what age he was, all right? So here's the deal. With Meek Mill getting jail time when he had such a uh, uh, laid out future, has millions of dollars, ton of fans, just had a best-selling album, makes one or two stupid decisions that could cost him two, three, four, five years in jail. And when you don't think things through, when you don't focus on the consequences of your actions in the moment, you're guaranteed regret. And I've been big these last couple years, and I talk about it a lot on my podcast, on YouTube, not having any regret. You really wanna know the importance of regret, Go watch a documentary of someone who blew it all. Go watch 30 by 30 of NFL players who go broke uh, two years after they retire. Go watch, uh, what's it called? Um, the documentary with Dr. Dre, uh, Defiant Ones. And the DOC from NWA had, had everything lined up for him, was getting shout outs from Jay-Z and Dr. Dre, it was supposed to be the next big thing. But one night, he makes a dumb decision and drives drunk through Hollywood, gets in an accident, messes up his vocal cords, can never sing again. And I can see the regret in his eyes when they ask him if he regrets that night. And I'll tell you, some of these decisions people make, they're not fully thinking things through, and it's going to cost them years and, and possibly a, a career ruined. So I challenge you, I don't care if you're 16, 17, 18, 37, 52, I know a lot of people that watch my stuff have such a bright future. You guys are the ambitious ones that, that have that nagging pull to do something great. You're the ones that are going to be the future athletes, entrepreneurs, entertainers, CEOs, um, visionaries. But you got to remember, one small decision is all it takes for a life of frustration and regret. So you have to really make sure that you think things through and ask yourself, is this the most intelligent decision I could possibly make for my future? And here's a big key. You're either making decisions that your future self will thank you for or making decisions that you'll be frustrated with 
when your future self gets to that level. So what I mean is your future self is going to be pissed off that you made all these bad decisions. Just like someone that makes a lot of bad decisions in their 20s, their 30s are horrible. You make bad decisions in your 30s, your 40s and 50s are going to be horrible. The tougher decisions you make in the moment, the ones that you don't always feel like doing, maybe it's walking away from peer pressure, maybe it's not making a popular decision, but you know it's the right decision. It's tough to do in the moment, but life becomes a lot easier in the future if you make the tough decisions. If you make the easy decisions, the ones that everyone else is doing, or the ones that you know might, if you're caught, catch up to you, life gets a lot tougher, and there's nothing worse than living with regret. Nothing worse. So make the tougher decision wherever you can, because it not only builds your confidence, but it gains respect from people around you when you make the unpopular decision and the tough decision. I don't know why they made the decisions they made. And anyone you see in the news that makes a frustrating decision or goes to jail or has backlash or loses money or goes bankrupt, whatever the, the negativity is, you don't know why they made the decision. Maybe they were in a tough state. Maybe they were frustrated or depressed. Maybe they felt like their back was against the wall. Maybe it was their circle of influence. It doesn't matter. If something doesn't feel right, you gotta get away from that, right? So the biggest thing you can do is think things through and then follow through. And get away from people who are making tough decisions, not tough decisions, get away from people who are making the wrong decisions. It doesn't matter who's right, it matters what's right for you and your future. So I'm telling you right now, with all the stuff going on and, and, and all these people that you see in the news that you're, you're, you might be embarrassed for, you're frustrated with what decision they're making because they have everything laid out for them. You don't know why they made that decision, but the purpose is you want to always be making the right decision that your future self will thank you for. The number one thing I want to help you with is making sure when you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, you can look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you have no regrets. You did it your way, you maximized life, you built a legacy, you made the right decisions, you made the tough decisions, you made decisions that weren't maybe popular in the moment, but you're so glad and fulfilled that you made those decisions in the moment because they shaped and designed the rest of your life. So I don't care what age you are, start making the right decision and base your decisions off intelligence and logic, not emotion or fear. Think everything through and don't think that small decisions don't matter. That's all that matters. Your life is a series of small decisions and choices. And the people with the more regret made the easier decisions in the moment. And I don't want that for you. So hope you got some value, but comment what you think. Do you feel like it's too harsh to talk about Leangelo at 18 stealing? Is that just a normal thing? Do you feel like he deserves years in jail? Do you feel like his family is going to bail him out? Let me know what you think also with Meek Mill. By the way, I'm not a big advocate on entertainment and watching a ton of TV or news, but I just had to bring this to, to the attention of, of everyone that follows me and, and wants to learn and grow, is one decision can ruin it all. So be very strategic and intentional and purposeful with your life because every decision you make eventually makes you. Let me know your thoughts on, uh, on the Meek Mill and the Leangelo Ball fiasco. Let me know um, what value you got, anything that stood out, and subscribe as well, and I appreciate you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day.